Electric vehicles are soaring in popularity and a Perth company is taking that demand into the skies. Kate Massey was in Mandurah for the launch of the first electric aviation network, charging the planes of the future. Out with the old and in with the new. Outdated technology making way for the next generation of aircraft. So today we're getting a glimpse of the future. The e-aircraft is the, is the way of the future for aviation. And we're at that tipping point today, so the Aero Club's really happy to be a part of merging the old with the new. It's a first step in a long line of activating more and more charges in regional and metro airports in Australia so that we've got more places to fly electric aircraft. Experts say the smart technology will make them safer for those on board. They're better for the environment and perfect for short flights. Their charging time is similar to flight time. For years we've been establishing this and building the network and uh, finally it's good to have multiple aircraft here operating in Western Australia, multiple charge nodes. Today a step forward at Murrayfield Aerodrome in Mandurah. This implementation officially launches Australia's first electric charging network. It connects this airport with Jandicott and there are plans to expand it right across Perth. The next step on the agenda is Rottnest Island. We'll have a lovely little network north, south and uh, over the ocean in Perth to fly electric aircraft and recharge and give recreational electric aviators a really beautiful flight experience. Aviation is a really important sector for Western Australia and for the world and we're keen to be leading that, way, uh, leading that charge and leading the development of uh, e-aircraft. Charging ahead to a greener future. Kate Massey, 7 News.